David Cameron is facing accusations of cronyism after handing 26 peerages to former Tory ministers and aides. The list includes ex-Tory leader William Hague and Mr Cameron's Downing Street gatekeeper Kate Fall. The Lib Dems get 11 peers, with 8 for Labour, making a total of 45 new Lords members swelling the total size of the upper house to 826. The SNP branded it a sorry list of rejected politicians, cronies and hangers on with big checkbooks. Downing Street said it was normal practice for prime ministers to recognize their aides in dissolution on his lists. Senior Labour figures to be elevated include former ministers David Blunkett, Alistair Darling and Tessa Jowell. Moat cleaning. Lingerie entrepreneur Michelle Moan who was recently appointed by the government to carry out a review into how best to encourage startups in areas of high unemployment, is to become a conservative peer. BBC political correspondent Chris Mason said Mr Cameron's decision to award a peerage to Douglas Hogg, who famously claimed £2,200 on expenses to clean his moat, is already fueling tabloid fury. The elevation of more Lib Dems than their entire cohort of MPs will raise an eyebrow or two as well, added our correspondent. Seven Lib Dems who lost their seats or stood down at the general election have been elevated to the Lords, including former leader Sir Menzies Campbell, Sir Alan Beath and Lynn Featherstone. Vince Cable and Danny Alexander, who are thought to have turned down the chance to enter the Lords have been knighted. There is also concern about the number of people now entitled to sit in the House of Lords, it is now the world's second largest legislative body after China's National People's Congress. Labour MP Lucy Powell said, David Cameron's promise to cut the cost of politics lies in tatters. At the election the Tories said they would make the House of Lords smaller, but they have done the opposite leaving taxpayers with a multi-million pound bill for David Cameron's new peers, who is in the House of Lords. In 2014-15 the average daily attendance was 483 peers. Members who certify that they have carried out appropriate parliamentary work in Westminster are entitled to claim a tax-free daily allowance of £300. They can choose to claim a lower rate of £150 for work away from Westminster or official visits, according to the latest House of Lords annual report, net operating costs for the chamber totaled £94.4 million for 2014-15. Of this, £20.7 million was spent on members' allowances and expenses. Meg Russell, of the Constitution Unit at University College London, said Mr Cameron had now appointed more peers than Margaret Thatcher did in 11 years as Prime Minister. They can't have office space they can't get into the canteen. It's inefficient as well as being expensive, she told BBC News. Mr Cameron has said there is no point reviving coalition efforts to reform the upper house, which stalled acrimoniously following a Tory backbench rebellion. He is seeking to boost his party's representation in the Lords, where he does not have a majority to make it easier to get legislation through. The Prime Minister has showered his backroom staff with honours, including OBs and MBEs. Downing Street gardener Paul Schooling and catering assistants Alison Deppis and the Marjorie Wallace, were awarded the British Empire Medal, BAM, for public service. Commenting on his elevation to the Lords, former Home Secretary David Blunkett said he was very pleased indeed to be offered the opportunity of continuing to make a contribution to public policy. He added, my mother would have felt this to be the equivalent of riding in a luxury limousine whereas today, it is more like standing room only on the top of an extremely busy double-decker bus. Optimistically, it may well be possible to block or delay the worst elements of the Conservative programme where this was not explicitly detailed in their manifesto and therefore legitimised in the general election.